Crossroads developers could face consequences if they don't meet city deadlines. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamert. I'm Julie Cornell. City council members are now planning ways to hold developers accountable and on a timeline. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon has the latest update live at Crossroads. Bill, Julie, people who live next to the crossroads know it's empty and it gets dusty on windy days. A city official even says people might be getting through the fence here. It's why city council is now looking to build some milestones with developers to hold them accountable. Frustration continues around one of the city's most visible areas. Looking at a dirt field for several years now is something I'm downright done with. The city council president proposes milestones and possibly financial consequences to keep redevelopment on track. Time frames, phasing, some accountability, and some commitments in terms of maintaining the site. We don't disagree and we'll work to accommodate that. Both sides will continue conversations in the coming months. But redevelopers Woodbury Corporation now plan on three phases. The first builds housing, retail, and entertainment space and targets construction in 2025 with completion in 2027. We think that it will, you know, uh, help create some inertia for the rest of the development to happen quickly. Plans stretch back to 2013 and today's conversations are now being compared to a shopping center in Indianapolis that took 18 years to complete. Much like Crossroads here, they went through a number of architects, they went through a number of developers, um, they went through a number of uh, city administrations. The city's eye still set on bringing this area back to life, but not looking past the lack of progress. We have some headwinds with kind of the larger macroeconomics, I mean, right now, Rates are extremely difficult for guys like us. Time will tell if accountability can kickstart construction. I'm excited for what can come here, but I really do request and urge you to uh, consider whatever oversight can be brought to ensure that we're not looking at a dirt field for many more years to come. Both sides, the city and developers, will continue to talk over the next month or two to hash out details about accountability and a timeline. The developers will continue to go through the planning process before they can start construction here. Live at Crossroads at 72nd and Dodge in Omaha, Alex McLoon, KETV, Newswatch 7.